my name is Astrid Henry and I'm currently a PA student and I've been asked to give some advice to some of you who may be high school students who've decided that you wish to dedicate your life to medicine. I'm all for it, so that's exactly what I'm going to do. Um, my first piece of advice would be to love what you do. I mean, there's all these studies these days about physician burnout and um, the field of medicine can be mentally, emotionally, spiritually, physically tiring enough um, if you don't hate your life and if you don't hate what you do. Um, so just in anything that you do or anything that you choose to do, I think it's important that you do it with joy and that when you love what you, you're doing, um, you'll just have so much more energy and so much more reserve to kind of put into it. So I think that's the number one thing is to love what you do and to let it show. And if you do love it, it's going to show anyway. So that's number one. And my second piece of advice that I would give to you and part of how you would learn whether or not this is something you would love to do is volunteer. Um, I know that, yeah, not all high schools have healthcare related programs or things like that that you can get involved in, but um, plenty of hospitals have high school volunteer programs. And if you go and you call the hospital and you ask to be in contact with the volunteer department, then um, you could probably find something close to you where you could get into the into the field early enough to kind of get a feel for what you're getting into. And um, I actually, I volunteered, as far as healthcare, I volunteered kind of late in the game. When I was in my first year of college, um, that's when I first volunteered in the hospital. And it was after my first year of college, during that summer, I volunteered in the emergency department. And um, it was a really good experience. I think um, it's kind of good to see that and kind of be in a fast-paced environment and um, kind of start getting used to having patient interaction and just, like, helping out in, in that sense. And just while you're volunteering, it's good to pay attention to the things around you and to kind of be a sponge. One of my professors told me that when I was an undergrad. She said, be a sponge. And so even if you're not directly involved in the medical care of a patient, um, there's just a lot that you could probably observe about the care of that patient when you're there. And just try to pick up as much as you can just by being there, even if you don't really understand what's going on. Just listen as much as you can and write down things you're not familiar with. And... Go home and Google them or something, or ask the doctor if the doctor has time, you know, to explain to you what's going on. Be a sponge and ask questions and don't be afraid. <laughs> um, okay, so my next piece of advice is get involved. Let's see. In high school, uh, where do I begin? <laughs> um, in my freshman year of high school, I was in the chorus, and then they decided that we couldn't have a chorus anymore. I don't know. Funding, whatever. But um, I really enjoyed singing, so I did that for a while. And even when the chorus did dissolve, I tried to kind of keep up with that with uh, the chorus instructor. Um, and in was it 10th or 11th grade, I was a peer counselor. Um, and then in 11th grade, we got lucky and we got some money to put on a show. So that's when I got to be part of the drama club, and I was Lieutenant Shrink in my junior year. We we put on West Side Story. And then in senior year, we did Grease, and I got to be Rizzo, so that was a lot of fun. And was it also junior year that we took Latin? Yeah, Classical Latin, so I was part of the Classical Latin Club. I was part of the Philosophy Club. I was also very involved with student government, so that came with its own little committees that allowed me to get involved with planning different little activities for the school. So that was good. Overall, I think medicine is a field where you have to get involved. Um, there's just so much teamwork that goes into the care of a patient. And everybody on the healthcare team has to communicate with everybody else. And we have to work together um, with the patient to provide the best care possible. So 
it's best to start early. Be comfortable with working in teams and planning different activities and, and being involved because once you get involved, you stay involved. And that's something that it's just better to get used to earlier on, in my opinion. Um, so, I don't know. Also, I think, like, the more involved you are in high school, the better you'll be able to handle medical school or PA school or whatever route you decide to take because it's just so there's so much work that you have to do and you really have to be able to balance I know like you've probably already heard time management time management many times already but it's really true so I just think if you keep yourself busy and you get used to having many different tasks to juggle um, you'll be better off for it, not only in school, but later on in your profession. Um, I think it'll be worth it. <laughs> and, and I mean, of course, get involved in whatever you can while still keeping your grades up there, you know. Um, stay on top of your schoolwork, but just make something of your high school experience. I mean, get involved, and next piece of advice, have fun. I know, it's like... fun. What's that? <laughs> um, but yeah, whether you want to believe it or not, um, these are probably some of the best years of your entire life. So don't let them go to waste, you know? Um, just lots of different things like um, to be involved in and to just kind of stimulate your mind and like let your interests grow and not be a boring person. Okay. All right, and one last big piece of advice is find a mentor. I think once you get to college, um, talk to people about your goals and um, try to see what kind of uh, opportunities are available, if there are any scholarships or any summer programs that you can do. Um, if you can find somebody in your field of interest, then that's even better. Um, Google things, you know, look look to see for yourself if there's any scholarships or summer programs in the field that you're interested in and talk to somebody about it you know um, just it's really beneficial I think if you find a mentor earlier on because it's hard to get by without somebody really knowing you because you need letters of recommendation for everything so if you can really find a mentor and um, you know, get to genuinely know that person, let that person genuinely get to know you, I think it'll be better for you in the long run because then um, your letters will be genuine and that should be something that helps you in the long run. <laughs> and while I'm talking about mentors, what better time to mention that you should join diversemedicine.org. <laughs> www.diversemedicine.org um, because it is a wonderful, wonderful idea. Um, you, as soon as you join, you can be in direct contact with people who are already out there working. They're already, they've already been through the hardships. They've been through school and. Or they might still be in school struggling like me. <laughs> but they are where you want to be at some point. Or maybe where you are. And you can get in contact with them. Okay, I don't know if that was all English. But um, it's a great place to start to find a mentor. So go ahead and check it out. Okay. Um, hopefully this has been... Ha, I'm all tongue-tied. But hopefully this has been helpful for you. Um... I I don't know, I just really can't stress enough how important it is to just volunteer and get involved and just do what you love to do and um, just embrace it now because as soon as you start to take those leadership roles, um, the leadership roles will start to come find you. <laughs> and um, that's not necessarily a bad thing for what you want to do because it's important to be a leader in this field. 
And, of course, that also means that it's important to learn how to follow directions. But um, <laughs> uh, hopefully these are things that all come together with time. So, um, yeah, I'm going to stop talking now. <laughs> Bye. <laughs>